So I kind of just wanted to have a little bit of a heart to heart with you guys and just kind of talk about what happened this week. It was not the best week and part of me also feels like it's sort of inappropriate to even talk about this just because of everything going on in the world. That is obviously way more important and there's I don't, there's just way more going on that like my problems just are so insignificant but that doesn't change the way that I feel about these things and that doesn't change that these things have happened um, and so I just kind of wanted to talk to you about that maybe make you feel a little bit more comforted if you're going through certain things um, so we're just gonna chat so I'm feeling so much better now I feel way more clear and I'm glad I'm talking about it now instead of like right at the beginning of last week. I'm sure you guys have seen that Makeup Geek has closed down their brand. Um, if you've been following me since when I started my channel, I think I started in 2013. Um, I've been using Makeup Geek pretty much since the beginning. It's been one of my favorite brands. So with the closing of their brand, it's just, it's really sad. Marlena, the CEO of Makeup Geek, she was the first influencer creator to ever make a makeup line from my understanding um and i've always looked up to her i've always not only just loved makeup geek as a brand but i looked up to her and how she ran her business and while making a makeup line it has never been what i wanted to do i was still inspired by her being such a boss and um just being such a trailblazer for this industry. Um, I believe she was, I don't know if she was the first, but she was one of the first brands to ever collaborate with other influencers and creators and just sort of set the tone for what this industry is now. It's crazy what it has grown into, just how much it has changed over the years. I've been doing this almost 10 years now and it is completely different and it's crazy just the different stages that it has gone through so um but throughout my whole career i've always said there's only two companies that i would ever want to collaborate with and create products with and one of those is makeup geek so three years ago i reached out and i told them hey i would love to collaborate with you let's do something and they said yes so um that's what we've been doing. Obviously, 2020 happened, and so we really started working on it last year. And I just found out last week that um, their brand was gonna be closing, and so that meant that our collaboration wasn't going to happen. Um, and you guys, what we were working on was, you would have, fucking loved it you would have loved it so after we talked i just took the day to just wrap my head around like what's next and i'm a fixer so in my head i was like okay well what's next i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and my mind was going a million miles a minute and i struggle a lot with if what i'm doing is enough and proving myself not really to anybody else but to myself i don't know i feel like i'm someone that I take a long time to do things <laughs> and I'm okay with it like um, I don't know like I just I like to know all of the information before I make a decision I like to overthink everything and make sure that I have all of the information before I do something and so it's like I go through all pros and cons of everything in life and then I make my decision or I act or I move slowly I overthink every scenario and I end up stopping myself from doing things and I feel pressure to not from anybody just from myself to do something bigger and greater and whatever because I see that that's what other people are doing and I'm trying to think of like I don't know I'm just always trying to think of something bigger and better that I can do to support our family for years to come and something that will be you know for our children in the future and I don't know I hope you know what I mean because like there's no 
I mean, I'm always going, I feel like I'm going to be on YouTube for as long as I can think of, but I just, who knows how long this YouTube thing is even going to be a thing. There's always going to be a new app. There's always going to be a new platform. And, you know, I just, I really want to think ahead. All of that to say that when I heard of the news of Makeup Geek Clothing, I started to just really, um, pick apart everything. I don't know what I was saying. The battery died, so I lost my train of thought. I ran downstairs to change the battery, so. Um, basically, I don't remember what I was saying, but basically, I just can tend to get in my own way. I tend to not want to make mistakes because I don't, who, who wants to make a fucking mistake, right? So I try to just get all of the information for everything so that I don't make any mistakes. And so I do a good job and I'm just learning that by doing that, I'm hurting myself because I'm putting myself in my own way of achieving great things. And the only way to do that is to fail so that you can get better. And I know that everything that's happening is, there's a reason for it. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's to make some sort of shift in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I, now a week and a half later, I feel a sense of peace. I've gone through all these different emotions. And also I know that like my situation compared to everything in the world, again, is just so insignificant. So that happened last week and then my laptop broke. I opened it up and it was like really glitching and the mouse wasn't working. So on Sunday I took it to the Apple store and basically they told me it was gonna be like $700 to fix because to send anything out to get fixed through Apple, it's like a minimum, even if like, Say, for instance, if my screen cost $300, it would still be $700 to get fixed. Stupid. So, uh, I wanted to think about it because um, I'm not just going to go. That's a lot of money to just be like, okay, we fix it. That's a lot of money. So, contemplated my options. I wanted to get a couple of, of other opinions. Um, turned out. Best Buy couldn't help me. They told me to go through Apple. A local computer fixer store set the same price to fix it. So <laughs> I totally forgot about this. Monday, um, a water pipe on our road burst and our whole backyard was flooded. <laughs> so it was literally shooting up like 10 feet into the air. And I, uh, yeah, <laughs> taps on the phone with my husband. I go in the backyard, water everywhere, garbage was everywhere because all of our garbage fell out of the trash and I'm sure the neighbors did too. And um, they turned off the water finally after two hours after it got really bad. And um, because I was in such a funk over the weekend, I didn't do any dishes um what you know all that and then on top of it uh the laptop was broken and all of my sd cards were full so i couldn't edit anything i couldn't film anything um i couldn't even empty out my sd cards because my laptop was broken and even if i could film i couldn't shower and i couldn't clean so i literally just sat there and i feel like it was like god just telling me to just sit and shut up <laughs> and stop thinking things like just just be for a day so um that's what I did I just kind of zoned out and um I feel like I needed that and yeah anyways all of that to say it's very weird that this whole thing happened this week because um by the end of this month I'm actually launching something with someone else and it's just so weird it's so weird that one chapter is closing and another one is opening in the same month. It's just very, God's timing is divine. It's just, it's very weird. Um, but I am very excited 
in 2019 when I reached out to Make a Geek to work with them on something, I the same day emailed this brand. Um, I'm sure you can guess who it is. Leave your guesses down below. I'm really excited about it. You guys are gonna love this. Um, but I had to create content for this that's happening really soon. So I couldn't send my laptop out to get fixed because I needed it. Um, that's why I couldn't do that. But um, yeah, so I've just had like just a roller coaster of emotions. Just, just, you know, I felt very sad. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like lost, like I didn't know what's next. Um, I still don't, <laughs> but then also, oh, and then I was anxious and stressed about like the computer situation and then our home with the water and then excited because of this next thing that's happening. So I've just had a world, uh, just a whirlwind of emotions and all of that just on top of like the stress of life in the world right now. So I'm doing great now it's been a week and a half and i'm feeling much better um i listened to what's the name of it you're a badass at making money and now i'm in the middle of you're a badass um i forgot the author i'll put it on the screen um but i saw laura lee talk about this book uh, both books actually so um those have actually helped me sort of just get out of this little funk that i'm in and just you know, a lot of the books that I have read and listened to this year have just been about mindset and how God is in control and how you just need to let go. And so that's kind of what I've been really trying to harness this week is just letting go, let go and let God basically, because I love to control and I love to just, you know, I love to have a plan. And I literally have made so many plans in the first few days of last week just like okay what's next I'm gonna do this I literally bought I started investing in another business for myself to create and then I realized I don't actually want to do that why did I yeah I'm a fixer and I like to make a plan and I'm just trying to let go let God and just go with wherever he takes me because um I'm in my own way and I'm setting myself back and I'm just trying to remember and just remembering that everything happens for a reason, um, even if I don't know it right now. That was a really long story. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to update you on why I've been kind of bummed, what's been going on. Um, and this is not, you guys, I just, I'm not complaining. I'm not like whatever. I just, I wanted to share this because everyone's going through something whether it be big or small or whatever and um also i want to explain why i didn't have any videos up the last like two weeks because my freaking laptop but yeah i just want to let you guys know what's been going on um everything's good i'm feeling peachy and um kind of what i'm focusing on right now is just living in the moment doing the best that I can. Ruben always tells me, do your best, fuck the rest. And that's what I'm doing. So yeah, let me know what sort of videos you guys want to see from me. I think after this, I'm going to go touch up my hair because it is like dirty and I need to like make it look nicer. But um, I'm going to go film a favorites video and I'm going to share some of my favorite Makeup Geek products in there because they are, I think their whole site is 40% off until April. So I'm going to share some of my favorites in my, I'm going to share some of my Makeup Geek favorites in my next favorites video so that you can uh, shop their site while it's 40% off. I don't think that my discount code works anymore, um, but again, you're still getting like 40% off, but yeah. <sighs> I felt really good to just... <sighs> thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding. Um, I hope this didn't come off as complaining because I'm really just word vomiting what was going through my mind and I feel like I've come full circle and I'm feeling so much better now, feeling more confident. Um, and I'm just going to try to just 
go with the flow more. Quit trying to control everything and quit overthinking everything. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like, I need to just be and just, mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? <sighs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.